Make sure you give your vegetables a wash. Now this asparagus is, is, is quite thick and I'm not going to pre-blanch it. Cooking a piece of vegetable like that, which is quite hard, I mean, I'm going to break the bottom off here. That's pretty thick. People have this sort of idea of just of, of marinating and lots of olive oil, all that sort of stuff. If I put oil onto this now, it's just going to smoke and actually start to burn. And, and I put it on just like this. Let's put these on around the edge. And look at, the, look at the, look how thick this mushroom is. Again, let's take the heart of this mushroom out. What I'm also trying to create is I, I want to try and create a little well for the egg yolk because I've got this idea. I'm going to crack all these fantastic blue chicken eggs. I want to crack that into here once this is cooking. So a good thing, just very, very quickly peel off this outer layer of the mushroom. A couple little tricks with mushrooms, especially when you're grilling them. Take some of these gills off. Get my knife into there and I literally just cut away at that. Beautiful. Let's just cut into the core here and flip it over and do the same. Just let the heat get into the flesh of the mushroom. This, I'm putting right in the middle. That's going to take some time to cook. Now I know that the onion's going to take quite a long time to cook too. So let's just peel that down. So what I love about these onions are the fact that they're really sweet. Now, cut the onion ring quite thick because once it's cooked down, it actually gets a lot thinner. Get that right there. You know what I'd like to do now is I'm just going to start to draw some of the liquid out of that mushroom. A little bit of salt. Same on the onion. I've got my, my barbecue week and I do kiss better than I cook. Let me get a pair of tongs because already I can see, you see what's happening to this asparagus? Right on the edges, it's starting to go brown already. Let's turn that. Now then, let's just drop the raw beans on. Fantastic. I'm going to turn this over now. That's all going. I want to get some lovely colour on this plate. Get some fresh red chilli. Again, I always take out my chilli seeds with the tip of a spoon. Right, so chop it. This, is, this dish is actually quite close to being ready. I'm going to cook my egg now, but I'm going to create this space for this egg. So this is the sort of crazy idea I've just come up with. I, I don't know whether this is going to work or not. I want the egg yolk rather than anything else to sit there. Woohoo! Ah, oh, yeah! I just want to get the, the, the yolk just set, so it's still a bit runny. So when you cut it on the plate, it's going to kind of ooze over with all the vegetables. Now I'm making a, a dressing for this dish and it really doesn't have to be that complicated. It's mint. Okay, let's just take the tips off that. That's fine. Now let's freshen this whole dish up with a splash of vinegar, red wine, season it up, and olive oil. Right, fantastic dressing. I want to get this asparagus off because it's ready. And these broad beans now, look at those lovely, sweet English broad beans. What's really exciting for me is this onion. This onion, I just want to sit it here. That's going to be sweet. Okay, that egg yolk is looking cooked. Let's get this off. This grill is still so hot. I think that looks really cool. Dress it up with some vinegar and some chilli. Beautiful English asparagus, broad beans, white onion, barbecued on a plate. Couldn't get any better on a sunny day.